Hello and welcome to the second part of my Melee Combat System tutorial series. In this episode I'm gonna show you how to create draw and sheet function and how to add any movement to your character. So let's start. First we need to create socket for unequip state of our weapon. So let's create it. You can play animations here so you will see where you need the socket. So let's add preview to our weapon socket. And you can see when he is releasing the weapon and that's where you want your another socket to be. So let's create our unequip socket from spine 3. Add socket and I'm gonna call it unequip weapon socket. Let's add preview mesh to this socket and we need to position it right. Maybe something like this, I won't do it better, but you can, it will look even better when you're gonna draw your weapons. Now you can delete your preview meshes, you can save it and close it. Now let's go to your weapons, master weapon, and let's create another variable called unequip socket, and it will be of the type name and edit table. Now you can close this, and now when you go to your weapon, you need to set your unequip socket name to the socket that you created. Mine is unequip weapon socket and I'm gonna set it for our hammer 2. Now just compile and close this. Now let's go to the third person character and let's create an equip function. So just duplicate equip function and call it unequip. And from equip weapon, let's drag and get unequip socket and set it to socket name delete this and now you have an equip function now let's create any montages from draw and sheet animations so just find them and create any montage let's call it draw and an equip will be sheet Let's create folder for our animations. I'm gonna call it animation and let's move those anim montages there. Now before we create our draw and sheet event, I want to add two new variables here. One will be equip animation and another will be unequip animation. Both will be editable and both will be any montage reference. Close this and now when we go to our weapon we can set our equip animation and unequip animation. If you want other animations for other weapons you can set it this way but I will have only one. Now let's go to the character and let's create the event. In the event graph custom event I'm gonna call it draw sheet and before we create this event we need three new variables all of the type boolean first one will be called playing animation second one will be called is weapon equipped and third one will be is weapon set now we need to go to our pickup event and at the end we need to set our is weapon set variable to true in our equip function we want to set is weapon equipped to true and in our unequip it will be false. Now let's go back to the event graph and to our new function and let's say if our weapon is not set or we are not playing any animation we don't want to proceed so let's drag from the false and create another branch and get is weapon equipped and hook it in condition if our weapon is equipped we want to play any montage and the montage will be from our equipped weapon get unequip animation And if our weapon is not equipped, 
we want to play another anime montage and that will be equip animation now if you don't want to move when you are drawing or sheathing your weapon you need to add branches here and they will simply say if playing animation is false then you want to move and right here you want to set your playing animation to true and to move your character again after the animation is done you need to add delay here and set your playing animation to false copy it down here and hook everything up now we need to add notifies to the animations so let's go back to the animations double click on one and we need to create new notifies that will simply say when the character needs to equip and unequip his weapon something like here create a new notify and let's call it equip weapon close this go to sheet and when he is releasing the weapon you want to create another notify that will be called unequip weapon save close this and now you want to go to the anim blueprint of your character go to the event graph and call your notifies so weapon equip and unequip before we set these notifies we need to get our character reference so let's move this and let's cast to the third person character and try to get pawn owner hook this here and from this you want to create your third person character variable now compile save and go down here get your third person character reference and say equip and unequip and hook them properly now when the notifies are done we need to go to anim graph and create anim slot so right here add slot it will be called body and we need to set our animations to this slot so default slot and it will be body now hook this correctly and compile and save now we need to go back to the third person character and we need to call this function I'm gonna call it with R and just type draw sheet and because we change our default slot to body we need to set our default slot in our montages and you need to type it here too let's go to sheet and do the same and now when we play and equip weapon we should see our draw and sheath animations and I did something wrong so let's go back to third person character and to equip yes I said weapon equipped this needs to be false and now when we play it and equip our weapon we should have our equip animation too yes and now we need to set the animations of walking when you have your weapon equipped so let's go back and let's create blend space 1d from our mannequin skeleton let's call it weapon movement open it and let's go to the left side to the horizontal axis and let's set the name to speed and you can choose whatever values you want I'm gonna choose 600 and 8 grid divisions now you need to get here your walk animations so walk forward will be on 225 run animation 
for me will be on 600 and on the left side we need some idle state so idle 1 can be good and you can see that he will run and walk when he is on the different speed let's save this and close go back to your NMBP go to the default and drag off the idle run and create state state will be called weapon movement in this weapon movement we need to set our blend space weapon movement and hook the speed now let's go to the event graph and we need one more variable here called is weapon equipped and you need to set it to third person character is weapon equipped variable so get is weapon equipped and hook it here now go back to the weapon movement and to the default and we want to go to our weapon movement only when our weapon is equipped and if our weapon is not equipped we want to go to the normal state so get its weapon equipped and type not and hook, hook this in compile save and now when we play and equip some weapon you can see that he is running with the blend space that we created and when we sheath our weapon he should be yeah he is running normally and when you again draw your weapon you can see he cannot move and now when it's done he can move and and he will be running normally so that's it for this tutorial Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something new and bye!